So, hey guys, Chaos here. And yeah, this is just going to be an early now playthrough against Trash Map Big Mom. That got delayed and extended. Honestly, the new schedule fits me pretty bad. I'm super busy on the Monday, so I really won't be playing the end of the treasure map. Yeah, but it's fine, I'm not really going for ranking. I just want to get a lot of limit break materials. I'm getting low, and by low I mean that my medium mats are sub 1k. So I can't really use my limit break mats, I have to use my brain, and I don't like having to use my brain for stuff like that. See, I've been skipping the intrusion just to be able to do more runs, get more materials, but for this video I guess Phil do Big Mom. I've heard that the HP of the second stage is set. And as far as I know, Sorrow Special goes through all defensive effects, so we should be able to just one KO with Sorrow forever, which is Super busted, but we take those. So yeah, let's try it. Yeah. Free. Yeah, that makes this trash map a lot easier. And yeah, scabbers up to captain, resist the attacks down, yada yada. All specials. I guess I can remove the kosher from this Sorrow now. Uh, I guess I can keep it. Yeah, very free. So, yeah, even if it's that free, I will probably skip it because, as you'll see with rewards, you don't really get that much out of doing this you get one singular limit break mat i don't think the extra ranking rewards are really worth it like skipping intrusion in general is a solid strat if you plan to do a lot of runs which i don't plan to do but yeah uh i'm I ba i'm back to buggy strats too uh, this treasure map's biggest pro is that it easily allows you to do two bosses with permanent level 1 stats, and that's the dream for buggy teams. And both Hawkins and Kanjiro were also easy to uh, do teams for, so I'm happy with that. The buggy team is basically the team I did before with the Kaido and Sorrow, like a very brain dead team. But we just changed Captain, and the good thing with the level limit break buggy is that uh, you also get that free ore boost, so even more damage. So yeah, for this one we're not doing any one hit KO damage or anything. I'm just using Kaido special, Sora special, uh, one tapping with Kaido, and then I let the end of the, the end of turn damage kill. So yeah, as far as I know, this Hawkins has 1.8 million HP. So yeah, uh, next up we're doing Kanjuro, and the reason I am doing Kanjuro is because on the bonus map, Kanjuro is on the fork with the most limit break, uh, rainbow chests, and that's like the top priority. I was a bit sad at first because I felt like Kanjuro was the easiest boss with Halloween Ace and everything. But I'm actually happy with the buggy team I made. A kid being boosted is a godsend really. And since he's getting a 6 plus, he'll be boosted for next treasure map as well. And yeah, kid special is just one of the best nukes in the game. It's just that he has such high CD that normally you can't use him in treasure map. But yeah, with the boost, he's very easy to use. Carrot Wanda also very nice. Uh, we do the Block Orb Manape with Brulee support. And their special lets me use Kid special due to the special reverse. So yeah, 
uh, with four deck strength orbs. Kid special will do two million damage. And yeah, that's enough to kill. Carrot Wanda also has defense to zero, which is huge to ignore that death up. So yeah, knowing that every round you will have those two free fights makes me really happy. Sadly, Hawkins is not as optimal because on bonus map he's not on the optimal route, but it's whatever. The optimal route is not possible, that's just how it is. Uh, and yeah, I changed around this team a bit. Uh, this is a, actually a pretty obvious team, I feel dumb for not doing it earlier. I was too hung up on using support Mihawk to remove the death up. Until I realized I can just use, remove it in another way. And then I realized you don't really need to remove it anyway, since you do so much damage. But I have left open the option to remove it later, like Sora has the Shiga support. I can put the limited rare recruit per Spero on Big Mom to remove the remaining two turns. So eventually, I might need to remove it, I guess. So yeah, we use Sengoku on Law. We also have the Perspira support lock orbs. Law as captains, let me survive. Mainly, like survival is one thing. Another thing, of course, is you don't get any random swap. So yeah, that will kill for a long time. And then I can just tap again. So yeah. Very easy teams. That's probably the best part of this TM. It feels very free. The bad part is, as for normal maps, basically impossible to get Bento unless you would take very bad paths that are very long. I might reevaluate it in the future, but right now I didn't feel like taking that long detour. Uh, another bad, bad part is the bonus map. It's still not as good as the pre film red bonus maps, which is a big shame because. One of the big benefits of spamming runs is that you get so many attempts on the bonus map, and even if you get unlucky sometimes, in the end, you win, basically. Now it's not really like that anymore, even if this is not as bad as it has been, I guess, but still, definitely not anywhere near good enough. But yeah, I also think this team would be nice. Like, <laughs> it's just one special final stage. It's just that Blackbeard special feels so slow. It takes forever. Which is very annoying, but it is what it is. Still chill to only have to use one special. And I always hate when you get super tight procs and stuff after using specials. I prefer having that from turn one. Anyway, so that's all the exciting team building. Final team is just brain dead. All boosters team. But yeah, I don't really know what my goal is for this trash map. Since I can't play as much as I want, it's hard to go too, to aim too high. But I'd like to get to 150. We'll see if I can. Depends how much I can play uh, Friday and Saturday, to be honest. I'll try to get to 20 navs today, I guess. And then we'll see if I can get up to 50 plus on Friday. Killer and Sword this stage. I can use Scabbers if I want. And I'll probably use that eventually. Right now, not really needed. And yeah, this stage, Law, Cat, Sorrow, eventually Sorrow Superclass as well. Like, you just add damage as you need. But yeah, at least it's the best trash map for a while, so we take those, I guess. And yeah, I really do need the limit break materials, so I'm more motivated than I've been since I got my trash map win during the summer. But yeah, that's the playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.